वेलकम टू द मेंटेनेंस वीडियो ऑफ पीए सीरीज बैर पंप टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड दिस असेंबली ऑफ पंप हेड एंड प्लंजर टेक एलन की सॉकेट एंड व्रेंच एंड remove 4 m16 by 150 cap screws in a diagonal manner after that take rubber hammer and gently push pump head to separate it from crankcase then manually pull out the pump head carefully because of its heavy weight and put it on the clear surface now using allen key socket and wrench unscrew m12 by 110 cap screw after that take out the plunger and wiper from crankcase Similarly take out the other two plungers and wiper disassembly of seal assembly take the packing support from the pump head this is a chevron type plunger seal take out it from the pump head manually then take out chevron type plunger seal from the pump head at last pull out the packing ring manually from the pump head inspection of seal assembly check inner and top surface also check the surface having a groove of packing ring for damage or dent mark inspect all surface of chevron type plunger seals for any damage now take packing support and look into groove of plunger seal and inner surface and top flat surface for any damage or wear reassembly of seal assembly Firstly place packing ring facing groove side down into the pump head After that place two chevron type plunger seal facing groove side to the packing ring respectively assemble packing support pump head in such a way that grooved surface will match with the plunger seal this assembly of valve assembly take all three packing supports and rotate the pump head from the valve holder side take allen key and unscrew 4m10 by 30 cap screws of a threaded valve holder in a diagonal manner After that tight grub screws one by one of same threaded valve holder which will pull out the valve holder from the pump head Take the valve holder Then take out discharge valve guide manually from the pump head. Take out helical spring, suction and discharge valve plate. Take spanner to unscrew the solid plug to eject the remaining elements of the valve assembly.
After that, take a nylon rod and insert it into the pump head from a hole of solid plug using a rubber hammer. Gently push the nylon rod to take out the remaining parts of a valve assembly. Now, take out discharge valve seat, PTFE gasket, suction valve seat guide, helical spring, suction and discharge valve plate by pushing nylon rod. With the help of a pick, take out suction valve seat and O-ring. Inspection of valve assembly. Check upper, inner and flat surface. Also, look into the opposite step surface of discharge valve seat for anywhere or dent marks. Inspect suction valve seat guides inner step surface, periphery and a top surface for any damage. Check PTFE gasket for stiffness and thickness. Check stiffness of helical spring. Inspect both sides of the surface of suction and discharge valve plate for anywhere and dent marks. Check O-ring for any damage. Look into the inner and flat surface of suction valve seat for anywhere or damage. After that, check the inner, outer and groove surface for the valve holder for any type of damage. Check flat surface, periphery and inner surface of discharge valve guide. Check stiffness of helical spring. Inspect both sides of the surface of suction and discharge valve plate for any wear and dent marks. Check thread of solid plug for damage. Reassembly of valve assembly take suction valve seat guide put helical spring into it from square hole side place suction and discharge valve plate facing surface having a small slot at center upward place suction valve seat having a longer palliated portion side in going into suction valve seat guide Now, screw the solid plug and tighten it with the help of a spanner. Put O-ring inside the pump head. Using a nylon rod, adjust it on its position. Place suction valve seat having longer palliate portion facing upward with the help of nylon rod. By nylon rod and a rubber hammer, adjust suction valve seat on its proper position. After that, Put suction and discharge valve plate inside pump head facing small slot at center upward. Set it in its proper position by nylon rod. 
put a helical spring on its position by nylon rod into the pump head. Place suction valve seat guide facing square holes portion down into the pump head. Press it manually to adjust in a proper position. After that, put PTFE gasket on suction valve seat guide. Place discharge valve seat having an O-ring side facing downward. Push it in its proper position with the nylon rod and rubber hammer. Put suction and discharge valve plate such that its flat surface will face downwards. Put helical spring on it and then put discharge valve guide facing flat surface with a hole at center upward. After that, put threaded valve holder on discharge valve guide. Gently push valve holder by rubber hammer to fix it properly. And fix all four M10 by 30 cap screws on valve holder. Tight screws with the help of Allen key in a diagonal manner. Reassembly of plunger and pump head. Put a wiper on its place of plunger and place portion carrying wiper by a plunger into crankcase. Now fix plunger assembly by M12 by 100 cap screw. Tight cap screw using Allen key socket and wrench. After that, take the pump head near to the crankcase in such a manner that packing support will smoothly go into crankcase without disturbing plunger assembly. Then Install 4 M16 by 150 cap screws to fix pump head with crankcase. Tight all cap screws using Allen key socket and wrench diagonally. At the end, Tight all M16 by 150 cap screws in two steps. In the first step, tight screws with 40 Newton meter torque in a diagonal manner. And second step, tight screws with 180 Newton meter torque in a diagonal manner. Now, tight all M10 by 30 cap screws of the valve holder. Tight screws with 40 Newton meter torque in a diagonal manner. 